And then Hugh says, yeah, you cannot negotiate genuine desire. Uh, you have to inspire that in her, not talk her into it. That, that's for certain. But um, what makes it a little bit more difficult in the, in the defense of Ryan and others is as time goes on, that becomes more and more difficult. Uh, no matter how hunky and awesome and you could look like a Greek god or a, or a, or a uh, male model or whatever, um, 30 years marriage, it becomes a little bit more difficult to inspire that level of um, uh, spontaneous attraction sexuality versus two weeks into the relationship. It's just human nature, just the way it is. Um, being married long-term to somebody with kids is being a sexual person on hard mode. That's not anti-marriage. That's realistic. Okay, we have to be realistic about these things. Um, I, I put in my books, um, The Dead Bedroom Fix, I believe I put in there. It's been a while since I've actually read or listened to the book. Maybe I should just to make sure I'm on the same page or it's probably time for a, a new version of the book. But um, I believe I put in there, um, if you want super duper over the top spontaneous desire and, and over the top sex with very little work on your part, then go get your girlfriend. And some women read that and said, eh, time out, buddy. Whoa. And I'm like, no, I'm not go out and cheat. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying human nature being what it is, something called the Coolidge effect. Look it up, Google, which basically means we are super hypersexual, spontaneous desire human beings when we're in a new relationship versus a comfortable, old, familiar relationship. One of the tricks of the trade to uh, eliciting a more of a sexual desire from your partner, man or woman, is to basically <clears throat> uh, hit the reset button and become new people. Uh, your physicality, you can change. Uh, you become a more loving, romantic, sexy partner, you know, bring about a, a new you and uh, that will help light the fire again. A super extreme version of that, which I do not condone, but I recognize the science behind it. Let's just say that. And no, I know I don't live in this lifestyle. I've talked enough about it that people are like, are you? A no, I'm not. <laughs> but uh, it's called like open marriages, uh, poly whatever swingers and so forth. They are basically short circuiting the entire thing and jumping right to, you know, what would make me uh, really sexualized? Go get a new person over there, but I don't want to lose you. You're my primary person. I love more than anything, but I recognize that to really get me going to light that fire. It's new person does that better than anything. And that's what those people do openly with each other. I don't know what the divorce rates are in that world. I, rec I realize probably higher than the other. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, that's what they're doing. So it makes it a little tough for us strictly monogamous people to keep that fire going. And it's tougher than if you were Mr. Single Man dating, which, by the way, there's nothing wrong with be a single man and dating. Ryan is clarifying, saying, um, he, follow up to what Hugh said that he is referring to intimacy being important, that both partners need to put in the effort to prioritize it. Absolutely right. The hard part is uh, that so many spouses are responsive and honestly just won't think about it. That's right. If she's anxious and in mom mode, oof, open up a can of worms there, Mr. Ryan, uh, you can be uber attractive and it may or may not register. Sure. It's human behavior one-on-one. Um, that applies to a lot of things, not just romantic relationships. You can bring your best Oh, shit. Like employee package to the table. Hey, Mr. Um, boss, you're going to give me a raise? And he may go, nah, I'm going to give this guy a raise instead. And you're like, what the fuck? It's human behavior. He has his reasons. Your wife has her reasons for not, you know, turning on the sexy machine. That's where you have that difficult decision of I'm bringing the best husband package possible to her. It's not eliciting any kind of response. I'm not getting my needs met. We're drifting further and further apart. Maybe it's time plan B. Oof, easier said than done, especially when you got kiddos.